Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Self Built. Today is chest day. So we're going to go over four different exercises. Today I'm selecting, I'm going to do two for upper chest and two for lower chest. But theoretically, all of chest is going to be getting worked. But that's how we're doing it today. So let's get at it. Here's the setup for the first chest exercise. It's an inclined dumbbell press, but this is with your adjustable dumbbells. As you can see, it's got just your little adjustable rod, and then you got some weights that you just stack on, and then you've got chain, so you can make it right to the proper level to where you're starting for the press. Now, my biggest tip, is to start really, really light, just because you use a ton of stability muscles to get this to go properly, which you'll see. So that's my biggest tip. Just start light, don't overdo it, and sometimes you gotta drop the ego a little bit, but let me show you how it works. All right, I'm on the bench. I've got each of my weights right here. Now the purpose is you want to use the chain and adjust it to right at your starting point. So that way you're not overstretching your shoulders when you first start. And when you're completely fatigued and you gotta stop it, you're in a safe position to where you won't stretch further than you should. Now with this, just be careful the first time. It takes some getting used to, but this is one of my favorite chest exercises because it's so hard. <laughs> It adds so much stability and it's gonna add a lot of strength to whatever press you're doing because it forces you and you have no choice. So I'm gonna shoot for about 10 to 15. It's probably gonna be more 10, but we'll see how it goes. Ready? Here we go. It's a good one. Give it a try. Try to get three or four working sets and it just kills that upper chest. All right, now when you're done with that, you're gonna feel incredibly full up upstairs on that chest. Exercise number two is low pulley incline fly. And to demonstrate this, you don't need much weight either. I like to get a really good stretch on this. So I'll just have my arm way back here. You can kind of feel it out. I'm gonna be a little bit leaning. So my movement range is gonna be more of a fly motion instead of me sitting straight up. Just feel it out, see what feels best for you. And what I like to do is when you get it up, squeeze, and I'll also be touching the top of my pec. When you do that, or if you have a training partner, touch whatever muscle you're working out it's gonna instantly help you flex that muscle more, which is a huge goal. Muscle-mind connection is one of the keys to muscle growth, and it helps you get a great workout. So, give it a try. All right, next side, it's all the same idea, except you're just doing it on the left side. You can make fine tune adjustments because you want to get most of the chest. You'll feel a little shoulder, but if you start to feel more shoulder than chest, then adjust your position.
the end of that, your top chest should be pretty much fried. So now we're going to move to some lower chest. One quick thing I forgot to mention, when you're doing your incline dumbbell press, the way to hold this, you want the bar, the rope and the chain to be on the inside of your arm, not on the outside like this. Reason being is it's already hard enough to stabilize. So that's why I bring it in. And that way it just feels a lot more comfortable. The main reason I first did it is because it's just comfortable for my elbow. So I stuck with it. But if you want more of a challenge, you can go this way. But honestly, you're weaker in this position where it's trying to pull you back instead of you keeping that position straight. So there's my tip for you. Keep it on the inside and that tip's for free. All right, workout number three. We're doing some decline bench press. Now with this, I'm using the half rack attachments with just a barbell and I've got my little adjustable dump, um, bench down here. Now it's not set at a crazy incline. It's at a, de or a decline, I mean. So it's at a decline, like it's not flat, but it's decline. You don't want to go crazy. You honestly don't need to go crazy. Any decline is good. And decline is almost a forgotten exercise. A lot of people avoid it just because don't know why they're crazy <laughs> but if you think about it decline you get the biggest stretch than any other motion in your chest because if you're doing incline you can only go so far and it's using a ton of shoulder too to get it up with flat you can only go back so far just because your chest gets in the way when you're doing decline you get to start at the bottom motion and you're coming all the way up so you can see there's a lot more stretch to the chest and it it, that's not just a lower chest exercise. Just give it a try. You'll feel your whole chest getting activated. So it's a good one. Not a lot of people do it much anymore. A lot of people just think it's an ego exercise because yes, you are stronger in a position pushing down, but don't do ego lifting. You want to go slow, controlled. You want to squeeze at the top, get a good stretch at the bottom, and it's a killer workout. So give it a shot. Let me show you. There you have it. You can see I wasn't locking out at the top. You want to keep that tension on the muscles. When you completely lock out, it just goes right on the joints. It's the same with legs. Don't fully, don't fully lock out. If hypertrophy and muscle growth is your goal, keep that tension on that muscle and it'll wear it out super fast. If you've made it this far, congrats. I'm going to give you a treat with one more exercise. This one is just your standard standing flies, but you're going to move into a decline position and slightly bend down. Not, a, not totally straight up, just a little bit. Make sure to squeeze at the center. With this setup, it's not super wide. As you can see, it's just a little bit over shoulder width. So you're going to see my elbows are pretty close. It's going to look almost like a power fly. So you just got to do the best you can do with what you got. So when you go, I'm going to be just a little bit of a leaning down a little bit. I've got a full stretch here. Now my elbows aren't out here just because with this setup, it just catches on the pulleys. So this is what I got. And then when you go down, you just want to make sure you keep your hands together. Even though I can't go closer, you can still squeeze and make it much harder. Keep that tension on the muscle. 
and you don't need, need nearly as much weight when you're trying to make the weight as hard as possible like this. So give it a try. Now another tip is when you're fatiguing, don't pull your shoulders into it to do it. Make it so just the chest is doing the work. And if you can't go all the way together, just go as far as you can. It's all about killing that chest. All right? That does it for our first workout with the DIY gym. If you like what you saw, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe. There's a lot more workouts coming, a lot more tips and tricks to help you get your workouts in, no matter what's going on outside. All right, tune in next time for some more self-built.